it's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie de Baston and it's a bottle of their Baston Pale Ale coming in at 5% ABV. Blonde BPA written on the side of the bottle there. It, you can see from the bottle it's got a slight haze going on. Uh, it's, a, it's a gold bottle cap with their branding on, on the cap there. Uh, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass then. Quite a carbonated beer. Oh, you can see all that sediment there. Bottom of the bottle. Bottom just under a third of the bottle. I'm going to leave that in the bottle for now and show you just how clean and crisp that beer looks. It's, it's a four finger white head, good levels of carbonation, very clean looking beer, uh, golden amber in colour. The beer is available from our channel sponsor Beers of Europe.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a, a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. Check out the link in the description box of the video, Beers of Europe.co.uk. Let's go on with the review then, Aroma. It's a nice, it, it's very much, the aroma is, is following the taste. It looks clean and crisp. It's got a nice clean, crisp aroma. I imagine that will change slightly when we get the yeast into the beer. But it's slightly peppery, touch of lemon. And a little bit of biscuit malt, like there's like a grain in there. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. It's got a nice hop character to it. There's a slight tartness going on. There's a slight bit of sourness going on. And it's biscuit malt, then it's a touch of sourness and tartness. And then it's some lemon and, uh, and spiciness and bitterness on the back end. But it's lovely and sweet to begin with. Here we go then, let's get the rest. Let me show you how much this beer is going to change. Look at that, what a difference. Now it's looking more like a, a New England IPA or, or a German Hefeweizen style beer. Look at that. Or a Belgian pale ale, which it is. It's created more of a fluffy head now. You can see more, the head's got more depth to it, more, more togetherness. It doesn't look like it wants to fade away too quickly. Now we've added that yeast. Uh, as I've mentioned, it's now cloudy. Uh, let's try it. Well, let's see if it, the aroma has changed first off. Not really. Maybe a little, or, little bit of orange coming through. Clementine, maybe. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. It's a little bit more rounded in the flavour. Yes, it's still that tartness there. Yes, there's still that slight sourness going on. It's a very drinkable beer. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of, my, of the mouth. A little bit of biscuit malt to begin with. As I said, bitter on the back end. It, it, it's... It's a funny thing, beer. It's a funny thing. When I read pale ale now... <coughs> pardon me. Although pale ales have been brewed for millennia, for... more or less forever, pale ales have been brewed. 
I suppose, yeah, I, I, I need to take into the consideration the blonde before I comment too much. Yeah, it's, thinking about it as a blonde beer, now it makes a lot more sense. I was about to say, even though pale ales have been around for millennia, you still, this new world, last 10 years drinking pale ale, say from 2010 to 2018, that's eight years, um, you, your, your perceptions change of what a pale ale should taste like because of because of what's happened in the beer industry, because of the craft beer movement. And I suppose it's slightly played on my mind a little bit. The, the pale ale thought of, of the beer. I should have been looking at this more as a blonde and I now am looking at it more as a blonde. And I suppose it makes a lot more sense now. Brewery de Baston. Baston pale ale. Let's rate it. Love that lacing on the glass. Look at that lovely, cloudy, creamy head. Um, yeah, it looks terrific. I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Not quite there with that slightly overly tart, overly sweet, slightly sour flavour. Can't get my head around it. Can't quite, even though it's a Belgian beer, it's, it's meant to taste like this. Um, it, it just, it just, it's not flowing for me. It's not a beer that I, I'll drink and go, do you know what? I want another one of them. Go and get me another one. And then I want another one after that. And that's, that's, for me, that's where the beer slightly falls down. I'd want to move, I would enjoy it, but I would quickly, I don't think I would remember this beer. If you asked me about this beer, if I went to Belgium for a week, tried a half of this, you asked me about the beers I tried from Belgium a week later in the bar, I, I probably wouldn't be able to remember the beer. It's one of those quite nice, quite drinkable beers, but if I'm honest, a little bit unforgettable. So 6 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.